I come from a fishing village up in the northwest of Scotland. I wanted to be an engineer. Where I come from, there's pretty limited engineering opportunities other than on fishing boats. So I joined the military and been through the military as engineer. So the ocean's always been something that's been in my blood. I'm currently working on prioritizing what's actually going to go onto the vehicle and what we're going to stick as an upgrade making sure that I can meet those delivery dates by reducing the amount of work that's needed by the engineers to finish those designs and get them onto the vehicle. What I'm doing is the actual design of the vehicle. I get all the big pieces like the manipulators and the hydraulics and the thrusters, uh, the buoyancy and the frame itself. And then I'm going to put it all together as one system. In my background, I was really fortunate to be able to work under a lot of engineers that had a lot of experiences that they passed on to me. The last five years I've been developing underwater observatories, putting in instruments and instrument platforms at the bottom of the ocean using an ROV. My oldest daughter is really interested in the ocean. It's cool to be able to show my kids, my wife, what I do. When I was a kid, I actually wanted to make an exoskeleton, like Iron Man. Yeah. That one. <laughs> and many other jobs, you design something, you make something, but you never get to see them in real life. But here, we actually make things and we actually see how well they work or how well they don't work. We only need proper access to, the, to one end of it. I find myself drawn to research work and I'm grateful that I've been able to find work where the goals are finding out more about our world and things like that. We need to decide whether the van's going in one of these locations or one of these locations. For most of my career I've worked in fairly small teams um, which is definitely a different dynamic to being a, a tiny cog in a giant machine. We feel like we have control over a significant part of this project. That's something I really like. My role is mostly selecting and sourcing equipment and then over the coming months we'll start having more and more equipment being delivered here and my role will move to debugging problems we get. They're pretty interesting when you get a group of alpha males who are highly educated trying to resolve some difficult problems in a short period of time. Those guys are super creative. You can't put a lid on that, you've got to let that and go. The key to it is that they, these guys take the system that they build and they take it to sea. You know, that's the hard part. Normally an engineer will design something, hand it off to a manufacturer, and then manufacturer will eventually manufacture and hand it off to operations. These guys are doing all of that and taking it to sea.